Hey guys, how's it going? Coach Tyson from Arkstrain and we're in Thailand as you can see from the Tuk Tuk and hopefully there isn't much background noise coming in but yeah, I uh, got a pretty exciting training session so let's get started so we're headed to the gym Agine sound but it, I was saying like it feels like a throwback vlog vlogging in Thailand because obviously if you're an OG you know what I mean like I used to live here and all those things and it feels really sort of good to be back in Thailand but I like I say we're going to the gym got a pretty exciting uh, training session today so got a heavy squat and it'll be followed by some bench and deadlift tomorrow which will also be in this vlog and yeah man pretty excited to share this with you guys and we're gonna get into the train now and head on towards the gym let's get it all right guys so I was taking the grab bike to the gym but as I say I decided to walk just because I feel like a little bloated on the inner one it just makes more sense because I can uh, clear up uh, everything and get warmed up as I reach the gym but man Bangkok weather really really sucks and then I've been here for like kati, five days now and it feels extremely hot I don't know why Lako Seri got here but uh, it just feels so hot I'm dehydrated drained out half of the time that I'm here on AKC Nina but I need some rest and all those things so I'm not still a hundred percent but hopefully as a good session Mate it doesn't make that much of a difference because of how tired I'm getting but we gotta put in the work I've done my best to prepare I dekhine khana dekhi pani dekhi sleep all those things but I don't feel a hundred percent man but good news today is that uh, your gym that I'm going to is a different gym that I is a different gym than I used to go Paila Paila uh, this one has aircon so it's a bit better and also another good thing is that it's got uh, the best equipment in the world <laughs> I mean not this particular gym but El Coco set of Tinta and that's obviously the gold standard for powerlifting because world competition or Abani Tene uh, Yusunsa so this gym's got it all but our gym I don't think I'll be talking so much sorry because obviously it's not the biggest gym and I heard a lot of people go here so gym I don't want to disrupt privacy but I will uh, we'll just put the training up and then give a commentary once uh, I'm done with the workout look at the Pasina guys look at the Pasina all right uh, let's go into the gym now just got done with the session so yeah pretty productive session I would say overall uh, and heading back to the hotel and I really wanted to talk right now because the memory of Anumna, the lifts are still quite clear in my head even though there's a lot of background audio main agenda was to squat and we did that pretty damn well so as I go top single RPE was 9 and it's the single at 9 it's usually like 
we're really greedy. We want to make a new PR because I'm moving into a development block, development block. Uh, moving forward, our uh, other block, if there are singles, are no, no success. So, just to that, we kind of get greedy and tend to overshoot. But uh, for me, as I'm a coach to many athletes, and I want to be a responsible coach and not go off a program. So, just to that, so I was really, really honest with myself. And even though I wanted to hit a PR, I genuinely felt like one uh, two seventy would be the perfect call at RP9 and it was you know so really proud of myself uh, on that end so warming up it felt pretty pretty good uh, like uh, Thailand I but see definitely made a best session because I've, I've been having a lot of uh, bad days dehydrated tired and moving around and all those things in Sunny so as a go session I say I felt good all of a sudden and uh, warming up felt really nice. The gym was extremely packed, so I couldn't vlog inside. But it was a really good atmosphere. Everything was really, really nice. And I took the made usual jumps to 220, and this was 250. So basically, made a 250 as a co was faster according to the velocity tracker compared to my uh, 240 back home 10 days back. So I knew I had 270 in me, not already 265. So but as you can see, 270 was absolute fire unzani it just flew off and had i done more definitely possible i'd say around uh to 77.5 maybe today like rpe 10 absolute grinder i will set myself up for failure for the upcoming blocks because if i peak too early then i'm gonna crash right like competition or pachi atti crash unzani body so I want to get back into training so in the long run it's going to be better it's not a mock meet it's not a real meet so extremely extremely happy that I've matched a PR I have a Boliko session so which is going to be bench and deadlift which would also get affected if I uh, do more than what's needed today Banale Boliko bench and deadlift affect also and it's going to be the same I guess the approach is going to be uh, pretty similar as today Bolibani got a RPE nine for bench and an rpe nine single for deadlift to end off uh, this training block so i don't have any numbers in my head uh, but let's see whatever the day gives me i'm gonna take it be extremely honest so that i can set an example for you guys and set a uh, so and also practice what i preach so that's what really matters at the end of the day you gotta stick to the plan follow your course do the best you can and of course, hope for the best, and if you've done everything correct, the best is going to be even better, you know. All right, guys, this is sort of feeling like a rhino rant. I'm having so much fun, really in a good mood today. Obviously, after such an amazing session, but I will not waste your time and wrap up this video for today. And I will see you guys literally in one second, but for me, it's going to be tomorrow with a bench and deadlift workout let's get it guys let's get it still walking from yesterday <laughs> uh, any which ways uh, this is day two of my training training for this vlog but day what the day four of my actual training so just got done so I'm walking back home as usual and just wanted to give the update really quick uh, before I head home and wrap things up for today uh, so as you guys know, I made a bench session too and deadlift session, both a single at RPE 9, uh, finishing off this training block. So all in all, it was quite a productive training session, but it obviously didn't go how I expected and how uh, things were yesterday. So I was really like in a positive mood. So I was doing everything correctly uh, as usual. And he came into the session. So as a range the our last week 135 got bench ma and deadlift ma uh, 275 got which weren't the best of my ability but uh, it moved decent. So as a like low range I was thinking like 145, a 140, 145 got to and for deadlift uh, 280 or maybe even 285, 287.5 depending on how uh, things feel on my end. So as I was warming up, uh, I felt. I wasn't 
in the best shape I could be. So I decided to uh, choose the lower weight for Mero uh, training. So basically I chose 140 for bench, which as you can see was the worst 140 uh, of my life. <laughs> But uh, hips are all cut and the tablets go first. Hips are all cut and I think the reason is uh, the change in equipment. Even though it's like the best equipment you can possess, like money can buy Elico, but it's really really hard and uh, a bit lower and wider than uh, usual. So for me, it was uh, quite difficult to get in middle leg drive. So I think that's one of the reasons. But the reason is always going to be you're you are not strong enough. So. So for this particular day on bench, uh, wasn't the best bench session uh, that I've done and 140 is a weight that I know uh, will move regardless of how equipment is and however I'm feeling, it, it's a weight that should move, right? Uh, so wasn't there, so yeah, moving on. So the bench sake pachi, I uh, was expecting good things of deadlift again as I was warming up, the warm up felt pretty good, usually just to bite at you, uh, but then I thought like let's I'll just play it safe because our bench got up and secure and I didn't want to overshoot. So 280, I loaded up 280 on the bar and it moved like super duper slow. So again, probably. Uh, one of the worst 280 has moved for me and I think the slowest deadlift that I've ever gotten to uh, locking out. <laughs> so you want a slower deadlift which has uh, completed. So uh, pretty good good on that part that I didn't miss the lift but uh, quite uh, not satisfied because it wasn't the best deadlift that I could have done. Right? Uh, so yeah, that's that. And coming into yesterday's point of overshooting and all those things, uh, that's a fair point I made yesterday. But you also gotta uh, put in the really, really hard work sometimes uh, when it's necessary and uh, your body isn't willing to do. So what if this was midday? Uh, what if uh, this was a very important day in terms of training? So what would I have done? You know. So I think a day such as this would prepare me uh, for training like this. So it was good. I'm really happy with the outcome and. Uh, I managed to total uh, 690 uh, in training, which is uh, higher than my best ever total. Not in training, but uh, in, in a competition setting. So pretty good, pretty satisfied. So let's see how the momentum uh, builds from here and out. I'm pretty excited for how things are looking on my end and quite excited to share this journey with you guys. So let me know if you want to see more of sort of a training video about Nepal ma boy once I could uh, speak as the workout goes on because yeah say it's not possible because San uh, gym Sanata Nepal ma Sanata but a lot of people uh, come to a relatively smaller gym and uh, they play the music really loud so uh, it's not possible but I would love to do more uh, training videos such as this so if you liked it uh, please let me know and as always you know where to find me uh, Tyson Moktan on Instagram and obviously Check out our website for coaching with me and other coaches in my team. And yeah, that's basically it guys. I hope you liked it and I will see you all next time at Oxtrain.